Hello, I'm Stephen Muir. I've been coordinating the Aranui bike fix up uh, since uh, August 2000 we started. And we meet in Aranui at the Breezes Road Baptist Church and we fix up bikes, we repair bikes and give them away. And it's been a very successful project in connecting with the community. We thought we might run a holiday program in January. A lot of uh, kids don't have much to do uh, on that side of town. And we thought a holiday program where we get kids out biking every day, trying out some new experiences, extending their cycling abilities and learning to do some bike maintenance would be an excellent thing to do. Uh, so this is day one where we are at the Adventure Park. The Adventure Park uh, very kindly uh, gave us a free lesson and gear hire. So we had protective equipment and full suspension bikes and a free ride up the chairlift, which is very generous uh, from the Adventure Park to offer this to kids who would never have this opportunity otherwise. The <coughs> kids all found it extremely exciting uh, going up the chairlift and getting to ride down the single track. Dunkin' Donuts was the track that we followed. Uh, it's a relatively easy track, but a lot of the kids had never ridden anything like this before, and so they were pretty nervous at the start. But as the day progressed, you could see their skills and uh, confidence uh, increasing, which was good to see. Uh, we had a really good day going down at Dunkin' Donuts. We then had lunch, and we have the Christchurch Bike Library, which are two covered trailers which we have full of bikes. Uh, so at the start of the day, we ensured that the kids had good quality bikes. Some of their personal bikes weren't quite up to standard. The brakes weren't working adequately or they were the wrong size or there were some malfunctions. So we loaned them some bikes from Christchurch Bike Library, put them in the trailers. We had a lot of volunteers uh, helping us drive the vans uh, to the adventure park. And we also had a good team of volunteers from the church who were making packed lunches uh, every day for the week for the kids, which is fantastic because you can't bike all day without some food in your stomach. So that kept us going really well. After we'd completed the Dunkin' Donuts ride at the Adventure Park, we drove the kids up to the side of the Kiwi and we went down Choir Boy. Uh, some of the kids, the younger ones particularly, uh, their skills weren't quite up to the second ride and so they went back to the bottom just to uh, play on the pump track at the base of the Adventure Park. The more skilled riders went down Choir Boy and uh, then Lewis Rider, which is a really good flow track taking us back to the base of the hill. Uh, the day went really well. Uh, we had one uh, crash right at the bottom of Lewis Rider, almost right at the end of the day, resulting in a bit of a graze on the knee and an elbow, uh, but the rider kept going uh, without too much problems on that. And we then drove back to the Breezes Road Baptist Church. A uh, pretty successful day and a beautiful day uh, weather-wise to be out at the Adventure Park. The second day of the holiday program, we began with some bike maintenance lessons. We wanted to get every kid in the program to do their own puncture repair. It's one of those essential skills that you need uh, when you're out biking to be able to fix punctures, which will happen eventually. So we broke into three groups. We had several volunteers leading each group, and we gave them a tube and a tire and a wheel and made some holes in them. Uh, we had a couple of devices to do this. One was a battery drill, the other was a sharpened screwdriver, so they had some pretty good fun making the holes. They then had to learn how to use tire levers to get the tire off, which was a new skill for most of the kids there. They hadn't done that before. And then they repaired it with a puncture repair. Uh, pretty instructive uh, for most of the kids. 
We then biked down to the Bixley Reserve BMX track where the North Avon BMX Club ran the lesson. Uh, Liz Gamble from the club gave us some really good lessons and taught us some skills on how to ride a BMX track and uh, get around in good speed and the kids had a blast racing around the track and practicing their skills. Uh, there was a mini bike along uh, which was uh, ridden down the road. Uh, it was quite entertaining seeing Shannon on the mini bike uh, and using it around the BMX track. Uh, Les also ran a game for us called Foot Down where you ride around in a circle trying to block other riders and force them to put their foot down. It's a very good game to teach skills of balance and coordination and uh, just manoeuvring your bike in a tight space. Uh, we had a few races around the track. Uh, one, one kid fell off and uh, got a, a decent graze on the surface. Uh, again, that's all part of the, uh, the challenges of riding bikes, uh, learning how not to fall off. Uh, we then drove out to the Ascot Frisbee Golf course and had a round of Frisbee Golf. This proved a bit challenging, the concept of throwing the Frisbee and then biking after it with your bike uh, took a bit of sinking in, but uh, lots of the kids got into having a game of Frisbee Golf. Uh, and then we went back to the uh, Breezes Road Baptist Church and uh, spontaneously a whole bunch of kids got out some mini bikes and had a race on the mini bikes which was uh, pretty funny to watch and some ice creams to finish off it was very nice day three is our bottle lake ride it was forecast to be 31 degrees and it's probably a good time to mention the kitchen team we had a fantastic team of volunteers from the breezes road baptist church who were making us delicious packed lunches every day which was essential for keeping us all uh, energized for the bike rides the previous day we'd had trouble locating water supplies uh, so we got quite thirsty at various stages and had to take several shuttle drives back to get some more water to keep us tanked up. Bottle Lake doesn't have a water supply uh, while we're out in the forest, so Steve took uh, the single wheel bike trailer and loaded it up with lots of water bottles to keep us going, uh, which worked very well uh, around the single tracks of the forest, carrying it around there. So we drove out to Bottle Lake. Uh, it's a fast group and a slow group. Uh, went out, all got to the beach in good time. Uh, and went for a swim and what a day it was for swimming in the ocean it was not 31 degrees but it was very warm and pleasant temperatures to go for a swim and then we had lots of activities and fun on the beach lots of jumping down the sand dunes uh, there were some sprint races along the beach uh, some kids had a spade to go making sand castles and dig holes and Ezra attempted to squat as many kids as he could and uh, did pretty well on his squats, uh, lifting some kids into the air. Lots of good fun had on the beach. Uh, so we had quite a good break there and had a bit of lunch to eat. Always a bit dangerous eating your lunch on the beach, getting sand in your food. It's not a pleasant experience. Uh, we only dropped one lunchbox in the sand though, so it could have been worse. And then we continued on the bike riding. Uh, there was a faster group, decided to go for a loop the whole way around the forest, or most of the way around. Uh, this went pretty well, apart from a derailleur getting mushed into the back wheel and destroying the derailleur. Uh, so one kid had to walk with a couple of volunteers down to the North Beach or Waimari Beach playground and send a car around to pick them up as the bike was not in a rideable state. Uh, that was a relatively good option. Now the rest continued around. We only managed to lose one kid in the forest and that was only briefly uh, before they found their way back to the main group again and got back to the car park. The slower group went back via the uh, path along the side of the forest, uh, stopped at a playground for a bit of a play and got back to the pump track for a bit of a play around there waiting for the others to return all in all it was a very enjoyable day and really happy about the weather the forecast the previous week had been for a cyclone to smash into the canterbury coast and have three days of rain and some fairly cold southerlies to follow it uh, fortunately that didn't eventuate and we enjoyed some fantastic weather which uh, makes a big difference when you're out at the beach and in the forest. 
Day four began with some more bike maintenance time. Uh, some of the younger kids were learning just to take wheels in and out of the bikes, which uh, they found pretty entertaining. And we had a talk from Dave Whittam on how to look after your derailers. And if you do smash your derailleur, like happened the previous day at Bottle Lake, how you can single speed your bike by shortening the chain and removing the derailleur altogether if you need to keep your bike going and you don't have the option of being picked up in a car in a timely manner. That was pretty useful. We then drove to the top of Victoria Park with all the kids in the vans and our lunches. And the faster group began biking along the single track, the slower group along the road, which kept us relatively equalised in terms of the distances that we travelled. Uh, the views were spectacular over the city and over the harbour. The weather was amazing, considering the forecast was for cold southerlies and rain. We had a talk while well, we were at the bike fix up on how to cycle in wet weather and still keep happy and warm. Uh, Shannon told his experience of the old ghost road the previous year where it rained every day for four days, but we still had a fantastic time because we had good enough gear to keep us warm and relatively dry. Cycling along was pretty fun. There's some challenging uphills, lots of walking on those. Uh, some of the kids were noticeably a bit more tired at this stage in the week and some switched from the faster group to the slower group just to save their legs uh, getting hammered quite so hard. Uh, the downhills were pretty exhilarating and uh, great fun. Uh, no accidents fortunately, we were a bit nervous about that but everyone managed to stay on their bikes. And we were planning to meet the vans at Mount Pleasant, or one of the vans with the lunches in it. Uh, they were a lot slower getting around to Sumner than we thought. Uh, they had to stop and fuel up, which took quite a while. And so we ended up having lunch at Evans Pass after promising lots of very hungry kids that the lunch would be just around the next corner. It turned out there were quite a few next corners before we actually managed to get our lunch, but it went down very well indeed. At this stage we were putting extra bags of sandwiches in uh, to keep people fed, which worked really well. The faster group then continued out along Godly Head and went down the Anaconda, which was some pretty challenging downhill, a uh, bit bumpier and harder than the Adventure Park, and there were several spills on the way down there, but no, no damage done. Just uh, bumped off and got back on and kept going, uh, but pretty exciting riding and uh, getting into Taylor's mistake, the, the fast group went for a quick dip in the ocean before uh, a van came over to pick them up and take them back over the hill to Sumner. The slower group uh, zoomed down Evans Pass and got to the playground at the beach and had a uh, great half hour mucking around there while the other group uh, was picked up and made it back. And uh, all in all, a very well timed and enjoyable ride before we headed back to the bike fix up to finish. The final day, day five, uh, was an action packed day, so we didn't do any bike maintenance at the start and just uh, got in the vans and headed over to Hornby. It was quite a drive out to the velodrome, but a very exciting day. It was uh, Hamish and a few of the uh, track riders met us out there and did a great job uh, introducing us to track riding. It took a quite a uh, headspace kind of thing going on to cope with that huge berm at the end of the track. It's very steeply sloped. <laughs> And it really feels like your bike's going to slide out from under you. But it takes a while to learn to trust the grip of the tyres on the concrete track and to be able to go at speed and high around the top of the velodrome. And uh, kids had a great time on their mountain bikes to start with uh, racing around there. We did some time trials with the mountain bikes. And then the Christchurch Bike Library has a bunch of road bikes as well. So we switched kids onto the road bikes. And a lot of the kids made quite a significant improvement in time with the higher pressure tyres, as you'd expect. Some of the faster riders didn't actually cut much off their time when they switched to the road bike, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Hamish uh, talked a bit about the joys of track cycling and 
uh, some of the track cyclists there also gave us their insights to what they enjoy about it. And uh, speed is a big part of it. They just love the speed that you can get on a track bike, the competitive nature of it. Uh, they enjoy that. And it also sounds like a really social and fun club to be involved with. So the social aspects of mingling with all these other like-minded cyclists is a big draw card to the track out there. Uh, after a uh, good session getting exhausted racing around and around, I think the record was uh, one kid did 40 loops around the track. I don't think the rest of us counted that accurately. Uh, we went out to Hallsville Quarry. <clears throat> we had Doug McNeil come along as one of our volunteers today, and Doug shared a bit of a story with us of his uh, introduction to cycling and how a lot of his siblings have had severe heart problems and dying of heart problems at an early age. Uh, but cycling and eating relatively healthy food, uh, he's managing to keep going uh, in a very relatively fit state, uh, well into his late 60s. Uh, so it was good to hear. Uh, and then we went up the crocodile. Uh, again, the fast ones went up a long way. The not so fast ones just went up a small amount and biked back down. Uh, Darius managed to get lost and went over the handlebars, but bounced pretty well, so no harm done. And then we went to explore the main pit at uh, Horsell Quarry, where there were some pretty cool echoes to be heard around the rock faces in the quarry. And again, most of the kids have never been to the quarry, so it's just good to explore some new parts of the country. And that was the end of the uh, holiday program, other than some bike blended smoothies to finish with. We cranked up the bike blender when we got back and gave out some tools as sort of prizes and... Uh, incentives for the kids to get into their own bike maintenance but yeah the uh, the mixed berries bananas and milk smoothies went down a treat on another lovely day so a huge thanks to all the people who have helped us the people who did the funding uh, to enable this to happen uh, those who made the lunches which were just fantastic every day uh, the vans that we borrowed from delta community support trust were a fantastic hit and a friend sam as well uh, Les at the BMX track, Hamish at the Videodrome, and all the people who helped us by driving uh, the vans. We had uh, Dave and uh, Bruce come in and help us with some driving, as well as Renee and uh, Jessica. Uh, it was all a really useful team. Big thanks to Ezra, who did a huge amount of work coordinating it all and doing all the communications and planning. It's been a fantastic time, and we couldn't have done it without a lot of help and some concluding remarks from the kids as to how they found it. Hey, uh, what do you guys think of the crocodile? How have you found this whole week? What's your favourite parts? First day. First day. What did we do on the first day? We went down to Adventure Park. And why was that so good? Because you get to go down mountains and go up hill chips. The chair lifts, yeah. What other things did you enjoy about this week? BMX. What did you like about the BMX? Got a really good photo of you on the BMX. Well, Jonathan did. Darius, tell us about the uh, event, uh, the holiday program. What did you think? Um, it was fun. What was fun about it? Uh, um, it was fun. Um, uh, got good. some muscles. The muscles, so the yeah. exercise, good workout. So the pretty hard days, you reckon? Yeah. Pushed hard you, days. but you're already pretty fit, so it even pushed you as a pretty fit yep. kid. Yeah, and I got some muscles on my legs. Oh, look at those legs and oh, and those cycling shorts, showing those muscles yeah. off beautifully. Okay. And uh, what was the worst bit? Um, probably the worst what bit was when um, the, the bike ride today when, I, when I, I did a front flip. Oh, the front flip because you went down the hard track rather yeah, than the no, easy track. Yeah, it was track. like that step and I was like... Right, but uh, you don't appear to be limping or bleeding or anything? No. Just bounced? Yeah. Well done. Okay, how was the food? Um, awesome. The food was pretty good, wasn't um, it? Yummy sausages. Um, I love the... Um, Ah, uh, there. The what? Focus. Um, 
Sandwiches? Yes, sandwiches, yeah. yeah. Okay, Jamal, carrots. how'd you find the holiday you program? You carrots? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Amazing, you know? Thank um, you. It's really Bye. good, you know, getting along with other younger kids who have biked much. Because you're uh, one of the older kids on this program, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And um, it's really it's, it's enjoyable, you know, just um, teaching new kids, like, new things. And so that's the skills sessions yeah. at the start was yeah. pretty useful, one of the highlights, do you think? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I think one bad thing, well, it was kind of about... Like my injury fell off the BMX track. Yep. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. My wrist. Sprained wrist. So. But, uh, apart from that, everything else is amazing. Uh huh. Good. Yeah. Uh, uh, one highlight. One highlight. Um. Oh, I say the mountain biking one, like the one we just did for Horse or quarry? So I missed out two days, couldn't do much. Right. Okay. And uh, what was the worst part? Would you say? Worst one. If you can think. The BMX. The BMX. I liked oh, the it, crash. But I just crashed. That just ruined it. For yeah, me. that was a bit of a downer. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jamal. Thank you. you find the holiday program, Baxter? Oh, it was real fun. Yeah. Uh, what particular things are you thinking of that were fun? Um, the adventure park was super cool. Yeah. So that's the first time you've done anything like that, isn't it? Yeah. So how did you find it? You looked a bit terrified, I have to say. Was that your experience? Yeah. But it was terrifying and fun. Yeah, so it pushed you pretty hard, yeah. didn't it? And also something that I really enjoyed was just doing stuff that I wouldn't really do if I was just at home. Yeah. So um, today we did Halls of Quarry. That was yeah. probably as hard as the adventure part, but you, how did you find that one? I actually found that one a lot easier. Do you think that's because your skills have improved, maybe? Yeah, Because that was Because the adventure part, that was on the first day. Yeah. So with a week of riding and yeah. extending yourself, you find it easier now. Mm, That's yeah. good development, isn't it? Mm. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and anything that you didn't like about it? Nah. What about the frisbee golf? No, I even enjoyed that. Yeah, you enjoyed that. That's good. Find seventeen, though. Nah, seventeen. Yeah, we forgot the maps. That was a bit of a downer. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Radio. Still fun. That's good. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, so, how did you find the holiday program? Yes. Um, Especially the, especially the mountain biking part. Which mountain biking track? Particularly, we did lots of mountain biking. Yeah, like the last mountain biking. Yeah, yeah. The Horsel Quarry? Yeah. It's not just because that's the last one, that's the one you remember the best. What about the Adventure Park? That must have been pretty good too. Yeah. Well, it's kind of difficult. Yeah. So you found that one hard and so it was a bit too hard, maybe? Yeah. Uh-huh. Not that difficult. Maybe that was just the first day and you've got better. Do you think you've improved your bike skills over the week? Yeah, I did. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what's that you've got in your hand there? That's a spanner. A spanner. A size one. Uh-huh. Excellent. So, yeah, we're giving out a few gifts for the kids, uh, particularly the ones who have done the whole week. Yep. Uh, anything that you didn't like about the week? I like everything. You like everything. That's a good answer. Rightio. If there's nothing bad, food. What do you think of the food we gave you? It was delicious. Delicious? Excellent. Okay, thank you very much. Vinny, uh, tell me how you found this week on the holiday program. Uh, well, I basically liked all of it. You liked all of it? Was it hard? How hard are we talking? Are we talking you know, 10 out of 10 hard or 2 out of 10? 2 out of 10. So it was pretty easy then. Two out of ten is like super easy. Five out of ten. Five out of ten, just sort of middle of the range. And are there any bits you didn't like? Um, except for this bit. Oh, where did you do that one? Was that today? No, a few days ago. Right, you fell off. Uh huh. But you kept on going. That's good. Which one did? Uh, which track did you fall off on? Uh, the BMX track. Ah, you had a BMX track sufferer as well. Yeah, I had a couple of casualties on that BMX track. Uh, so what was your most favourite track that you did? Or did you find the boat maintenance sessions the best bit? What was the best? Or the lunches maybe? The Adventure Park. The Adventure Park? Right. Yeah, that was a pretty new experience for you, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yep, so that was good. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Sam, uh, tell us about the uh, holiday programme. How did you find it? Fun, exciting, being with friends. Yeah, so the, the social element was pretty good, wasn't it? There's a lot of people all getting on well. Yep. Um, and as far as the things that we did, see any highlights? Uh, the one that I mostly liked was, uh, yeah. was Victoria Park. Ah, oh, right, the Adventure Park, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. And anything you didn't like? The track thing. 
that we did today. The Horsel Quarry or the Velodrome? The Horsel Quarry. What didn't you like about Horsel Quarry? Going down those bumpy bits. Right. I fell down once. Okay, so falling off wasn't so much fun? Yep. Uh, but do you think you might have learned something from the skills that you've learned? Yep. Do you think you got better at doing those kind of tracks? Yep. Going mm -hmm. up high, riding faster. Yep. Mm hmm. Radio. Thank you. And uh, oh, I'm, who's this we've got here? Kingston. So, How you going, Kingston? Good. Uh, what did you uh, think of the holiday program? Cool. Yep. Uh, what was cool? Specifics. Everything. Everything. So there was nothing that was not cool. Falling off. Falling off. Where did you fall off? Uh, I actually fell off like lots of times yesterday. I forgot. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. But went off the track. That was the anaconda, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, but that was all part of the fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. You haven't got any injuries. Still Just no. bounced pretty well. Took it like a man. Excellent. Yeah. Uh huh. So there's nothing that you think we could have improved on. Oh yes, we should get the cakes no. out now. You guys did good. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Lyric, do you want to do your feedback? What was uh, what was good, Lyric? Um, biking, having fun, and. Uh, just enjoying your time. What bike rides did you particularly enjoy? Adventure Park and BMX. And yep. Yeah. How about the uh, the skills training things that we did? How did you find those? Were they like boring yeah. sitting around to people waffling or were they good? They were good learning how to fix and stuff. Uh huh. Yeah, and I found it was good to learn because you need to know what happens mm -hmm. if, you, if you break it break down. And do you think there's anything we could have improved? Um. Not really. Mm hmm. Yeah. You're good? Yep. Okay, thank you. You don't want to say what was bad about the program? Get it off your chest? Yeah. What was the worst thing that happened? Yeah. Annoying friends? I got left behind. You left behind? Whereabouts did you get left behind? Somewhere uh, online. Somebody decided. Lewis Ryder. Hmm? Lewis Ryder. Lewis Ryder, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Noise coming. Uh, yeah, right, okay. Uh, would you like to say good things and bad things about the week? Yeah, so my good thing is um, going to Adventure Park and having fun. My bad thing is flipping over. Flipping over? Where did you flip over? Uh, on a steep hill at Adventure Park. Okay, so the Adventure Park was yeah pretty good, but falling off wasn't so good. Yeah. But you kept on going. It was not it's just a bump and kept on going. Yeah. And uh, anything you think we could improve on? Anything you didn't particularly like? What do you think of the velodrome today? Good. Good? You're doing wheel stands in the middle of the park most of the time, weren't you? Yeah. And the most thing I can improve on is getting confident. Right, so that's building your riding skills. Do you think you've improved during the week on your riding skills? Yep. Uh-huh. How much? Just a little bit or lots? Uh, 50%. 50% improvement? That's a pretty good improvement, I reckon. Mm -hmm. You happy with that? Well done. And how did you find the bike maintenance stuff? Was that old hat boring stuff or did you learn something there? Learn something there. Yep, so you reckon you could fix a punch all by yourself now if you had to? Yep. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Adrian, um, how did you find the making of the lunches for such a great team of kids? Adrian made scones every morning. She made date scones and she made tank scones and he put raspberry jam on it and made them you have to speak loudly because there's a bit of competition from the uh, smoothie bike over there. It's hardly good uh, interviewing background, is it?